I think it's just one of those nights. Um, you got to give Kent State credit. You know, they bunched hits together um, with two outs, nobody on. You know, we've done that this year to some teams. Uh, you know, and, and you just you can't let down, obviously, with two outs. And, you know, they did a good job. They, they, they got a couple singles, uh, the walk, uh, and then they hit some balls in the outfield, uh, you know, where we weren't. So uh, you give them credit. Their pitcher did a good job keeping our hitters off, off balance for the most part. We had opportunities. Uh, one inning, we had the three free bases with um, a walk and two hit by pitches, and we just couldn't get that uh, that key hit. Uh, first and second twice uh, with nobody out, uh, and then being down four or five, um, you know, that's usually a situation where we do bunt. Uh, still could have bunted because I thought there was still enough time left in the ball game, but, um, you know, elected to play for, you know, a bigger inning and, and try to get that key hit then and, and maybe get us back in the ball game. And, you know, both times we, uh, you know, hit it a double play. So, uh, it definitely was one of those nights, but you know, I thought our guys battled. Sean Collins did a great job giving us a chance to come back and, and win that ball game. Um, and uh, you know, four runs is not insurmountable. Um, sometimes it feels like it, but it's not. And we just got to keep pressing. And uh, you know, but you know, our guys are going to fight to the very end. So, can we open up for questions for the student athletes, please? Tyler, can you just talk about kind of your impressions of that second inning? Um, it's been a while since you guys have gone through an inning like that, where things just kind of seem to domino and uh, build like that. Uh, yeah, I think we had uh, two outs with nobody on, if I'm right, and um, you know they just kind of rattled off back to back to back hits, and it kind of snowballed from there. Uh, uh, and innings like that, you kind of need to put a stop to it earlier than that when we can, and. Um, you know, we've done that to a few teams this year, and you know they did it to us tonight. So, yeah, you know, I mean, similarly, it seemed like you guys were getting guys on base, just like like Coach was saying, just couldn't get that one hit that might have broken up one of those innings. Uh, yeah, we uh, just didn't really get the time of hits tonight. Uh, we've done a lot in the past, but you know, we got guys on with hits and walks and free bases and whatnot, but just couldn't get that time of hit tonight. So that's something we'll have to do better at tomorrow. Sean, can you talk about your performance tonight? I mean, obviously, um, they need you to come in and, and go along if you could to, to save the innings and get a good reason. Um, I mean, when you come into situations like that and, and you're down four runs or whatever we were, um, as a pitcher, your mindset is just to throw strikes. Uh, throw strikes, pitch the pitch to contact, and, and hope things, hope let your defense work out for you. And, and fortunately, it did, did for me and at times. So that's just pretty much what it is. Uh, how did it feel to, I know you've been kind of in and out of the lineup, and did it feel good to get in and get some hits uh, and, and just help the offense again tonight? Uh, yeah, it felt good for, uh, to get a couple hits, you know, get back to swing it a little bit, but it uh, felt a little better if it was toward the win, but um, I mean, I'm glad I got back on it just a little bit, but you know, it doesn't really mean anything in the end. So. Sean, did you feel pretty rested? I think it's been, what, three weeks from today since you, since you pitched tonight? Um, yeah, I mean, everything felt fine. Um, arm felt good. So coming in, I was well rested. Arm, everything was strong. And again, I mean, kind of to build off what I said before, obviously, when you come in down a handful of runs, this, um, you just kind of try to fill up the zone and let the defense work for it. How did uh, you and the other relievers, uh, I guess other than Mass and Wicker, who've been throwing a lot, kind of approach that in the last week or so, just make sure you were rested but didn't come in with any rust or anything like that? Um, I mean, our daily routine, in and out, I think everybody pretty much, we all take pretty good care of our arms uh, in and out, doing maintenance and stuff. And, you know, we don't push ourselves too hard, you know. Um, it's just kind of how you're feeling. So um, everybody's just kind of <clears throat> on their individual, I guess, however they're feeling, so. You two just talk about how you guys are going to bounce back you know, tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, I mean, we just got to focus on the you know the first three innings and the first ball game. We can't get ahead of ourselves thinking we need to rattle off three in a row or anything like that. We just got to come out tomorrow, take it one pitch at a time, and see what happens from there. Yeah, I think Tyler said it best. Um, just you can't really look at the big thing. Um, you got to come out in the first inning, first batter, try to get him out and work those first three innings.